you're probably wondering where I'm from. Where are you from? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know what the real subtext to that question is, Monica? <laughs> <laughs> When people, ask, when people ask me where I'm from, they don't ask me that question. When they're asking me, they're asking me, why do you look that way? <laughs> and uh, I really don't have any explanation. It just kind of happened, and I didn't stop it in time, and now I have to live with it. You know what I mean? Like, this is pretty much the combination of nine years of unemployment and, like, failed cultural integration. Like, this is pretty much what happens if you just let someone grow and you don't interfere. <laughs> like, this is what happens. So in many ways, you're everything that... I'm everything that you want to be. Like, you guys are the cocoons, and I'm like... I realize that bit works better when I'm in Oatley Hotel down south, because they all look the same, racist, at the time. <laughs> no, they're lovely people. Good, hard-working, solely of Australians. Fucking Australians, mate. <laughs> fucking Australians. Just fucking getting their fucking lawnmowers and shit and fucking mowing the lawn and stuff. Hey, you know what? Hey, how fucking Aussies that shit, huh? Yeah? Yeah, how fucking Aussies that right? You know when you're on your fucking hovercraft and shit? <laughs> you know when you're on your fucking hovercraft and you're like, I don't know how the fuck my illegal charity organisation is going, but I hope I raise enough money to buy this here trampoline. <laughs> how fucking Aussie is that? How fucking Aussie is that shit? I'm so fucking Aussie, I fucking barbie a fucking barbie, mate. <laughs> I fucking was a grobbery fucking stuck inside a fucking uh, uh, cricket game. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, do you guys like beatboxing? Yeah? Let's check this out then. I can't beatbox, but I'm learning. Hey, have you guys noticed? Observations? No, I was in a nightclub. Does anyone feel like culture's just eating itself these days? Oh, that sounds so pretentious. I, <laughs> can I get a soapbox here? I was in a nightclub. I realized all the songs they played nightclubs are about being in a nightclub. <laughs> Have you noticed that? I was like fucking gaslighting. I was like, I'm in a nightclub. I'm in a nightclub. Listening to a song about being in the nightclub. Having an existential crisis. <laughs> Looking at all the people dancing. Wondering how they pretend to have so much fun when who knows, maybe they are. <laughs> like that song, tonight's gonna be a good night. Like these positive dance anthems, like you never get onto, you know? Especially that one. Every time I hear that come on, tonight's gonna be, like that doesn't sound like a positive affirmation to me. That sounds like a sinister threat. <laughs> tonight's gonna be a good night. That sounds like something you repeat in your head while something really terrible happens. <laughs> Even when you're in the throes of a PTSD panic attack behind a dumpster at 3 o'clock in the morning. Or the next note standing on your face. Every time I hear that song, I just imagine it coming out of like a broken car stereo on a terrible freeway accident, but that's where I am. Um, so I'm not a negative person now, right? I'm trying to be positive, but every time I'm positive, it just sounds sarcastic, you know what I mean? <laughs> I did a gig recently in high school, and they had, um, and they had all these positive affirmations everywhere on the walls, and they had a really good one. It's like, aim for the moon, and even if you miss, you're four months of stars. Which is a beautiful sentiment, but it's just highly inaccurate, right? <laughs> Everyone knows that the moon's technically beneath the stars, right? So, if you miss, you just asphyxiate and float to the cold that expands space, space, space forever. Either that, or just burn up upon re-entry. But that's a really negative way to do things. I'm not saying, like, be negative, just be realistic. Stop feeding these kids, like that kind of stuff. Just maybe make it a bit more realistic. Like instead of aim for the moon, how about this? Aim for the bed, and even if you miss, you fall amongst the dirty clothes on the ground. You know what I mean? Because that's more, that's more fitting. So I'm in this nightclub, listen to that song, and I'm watching a DJ. What is the deal with DJs? You realize if you take away all the equipment, it just looks like someone making fun of a retarded person. I'm just like, <laughs> like, what are they doing? I'm like, it's really mild, I just got feelings on Facebook just saying, I can't believe they think I'm doing something. Like, <laughs> like I keep seeing all these movies. Do you 
guys watch movies? You guys like movies and shit? I'm watching movies. And they got all these movies of, uh, all the show titles exactly the same thing that the movie's about. Like, we bought a zoo. Wow, I wonder what that's going about. <laughs> Leaving lots of room for my imagination here. I know, it sounds like one of those pretentious art films. I think I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> Snakes on a plane. 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 Snakes snake on a plane. Snakes snake on a plane. Snakes on a plane. What? Snake. Um. <laughs> snakes on a plane. Bad teacher. Like, who the fuck watches these films? Who goes, that looks like an amazing film because it's exactly what its title is about? I'm gonna spend 20 bucks. Like, how fuck, how stupid do you have to be to spend money on that? Anyway, so I was watching Cowboys and Aliens. And, uh, I was really surprised though. It actually wasn't about Cowboys and Aliens at all. You know what it was actually about? It was actually about a uh, declining civilization addicted to escapist fantasies. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too elitist there. So I'm not an elitist. It's just hard not to be when most people are shit. You know what I mean? It's not my fault, okay? I'm playing weird places sometimes. Sometimes I come across as condescending to stupid morons. No, uh... <laughs> Any celebrities? Huh? Huh? <laughs> These celebrities. <laughs> These celebrities. <laughs> Boo! Uh, the celebrities. <laughs> These celebrities were famous for being famous. I don't like this guy anymore. <laughs> I'm not really like this. <laughs> this is a character. <laughs> anyway. Actually, do you want to see the real me? Okay, this is the real me. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, I fucked it up, sorry. <laughs> Between a blow-up doll and the horror of Babylon, if the horror of Babylon was less of a slut, like she's terrible.